Hey everybody, in this lesson we are going to discuss arpeggiation. Now arpeggiation is simply taking a chord and playing the individual notes broken up rather than playing them simultaneously. So for example, if I were just to play an E minor, that's just strumming a chord. But if I were to put arpeggiation on that, that would be arpeggiating the chord. Now, this is easy to achieve. So first, we're just going to take our simple E minor, and over here, say we're just going to arpeggiate the entire chord. So, if we were just doing to do that, we would just down pick everything. But I'm gonna go away from the chord for a moment here and just focus on something that I feel is important to point out now. So, while you're going to be playing this, it's important to note you're up and down picking. So, if you're starting at your lowest point, you want to down pick. Wherever your highest point is, you want to up pick. So, if you're just simply going to play, say, a fifth. So, if we're just going to take an open E fifth here. So, just, uh, you know, open E and then two on the A string. So, if we're just going to arpeggiate this chord, we're going to play, we're going to down pick on the E. And then we're going to up pick on that A string. Down pick on the E, and up pick on the A. So down, up, down, up. And at a moderate speed, this would basically be. Now, the reason that is, is because trying to go may seem easy to do for some people um, and it's not that th doing that is hard but once you start getting into if you have to space them out a little more it's going to be much harder to try to down pick skip a couple of strings and then down pick so down picking and then being able to up pick on your way back is much more effective and especially down the line if you start playing uh, sweet picking you know, sweeping arpeggios, it is very useful for the turnaround. So whatever the turnaround is, whatever the highest note um, that you're coming away from is going to be up picked, and whatever the lowest note you're coming away from is going to be down picked. So again, on that, down, up, down, up. Now, if we're going to add, say, three notes to this, so we're going to do just an E power chord. And we're going to go down on the E, down on the A, and then up on the D, up on the A. So down, down, up, up, down, down. And then at a more moderate speed would be all right so say we want to add you know a fourth note to that it would be the exact same principle you would just down 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 And the same principle applies if you add a, f a fifth. Down on the low turnaround, up on the high turnaround. And same thing if you did all six strings. Alright, 
So now if we throw a few patterns in there, say we uh, wanted to break it up a little bit. So we're going to start with the three. We're just going to go down, up on the A, and then down, up on that D. So down, up on the A, down on the E, up on the D. So down, up, down, up. So at a moderate speed, that would be... All right. And say we wanted to combine that with, you know, arpeggiating it up and down as well. So if we wanted to combine those two, we could have something like a... Uh, so, and keep in mind, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Because, you know, since I have a turnaround here, I'm going to up pick. I have a turnaround back here because I'm going up here. And then there's another turnaround here since I'm going back. So wherever I'm having to jump from... moderate speed and then you can add other uh, random patterns in there too you know if you wanted to add whatever you wanted Just practice those over and over and over again, especially if you practice them to a metronome. That will help you. Let the metronome do the work and just play to it, and it will help you a lot. And especially in the long run, when you, if you do want to ever get into sweep picking, then playing to a metronome will definitely be your best friend now because once your rhythm is tight, you can never be a bad guitarist. And the great thing is you can take any one of them and play them over any other chords. You know, say you start with your E minor and then you just... Uh, and then you can move on to a G. Then a C. And then a D. You know, just... And uh, just play with it, have fun with it. So just practice with some of those exercises and uh, even make your own. Try, just experiment, play different things and um, just practice that over and over and over again. Especially anything where you've got to skip strings, practice that over and over and over again because eventually you'll just be extraordinarily tight at playing that stuff and you won't be very sloppy if you just keep at it. So just drill those. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on with our next one.